What do you think our customers, our current customers, are concerned about right now? I think they're. I think the biggest concern, from what I've heard out in the market, is you know recruiting. That's a huge concern. But what's crazy, it hasn't changed much. I think there's new players that are shaking things up that are causing more distractions. Look, I, I said the broker, I, I have the most respect for brokers. I think um, our users, the brokers are, I highly respect them because this is a very difficult industry. I formerly had my own business, so I can understand like, they're constantly, we're dealing with it here. We're, our team members are constantly, you guys are constantly getting recruited and, and hey, come work here and is it greener on the other side? If, Everyone gets that. I think the brokerage industry is on like straight steroids right now as far as that goes. And it, nothing's changed. It's just different models that are shaking it up. So I'll give you an example. Back in the day, you had to share the best value and the broker provided a lot of value. Here's our office space. We have a printer. We have a fax machine, believe it or not. Crazy, right? We are gonna allow you to print all your flyers. We actually have someone who's gonna help you design your flyers blah blah and 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 we install your sign we i remember when i was getting recruited like hey you're getting sent to maui because you're a top producer how about you can buy you and three of your friends first class ticks for maui with how much you're saving based on your split right and that was the traditional at the time prudential type of companies towards the kw well now you have new players in here that are one paying agents to come over big signing bonuses that's a shake up you have people that are fee only that's a shake up. You have others that are getting stock. That's a like, and the challenge is they have, these brokers haven't changed or shifted their approach. They're still selling on things that aren't valuable. Oh, we do this, we do this. It's, what I've always said is if you're a realtor going on a listing presentation, what value do you bring then the realtor Bob? Because if you can't articulate that value, they're shopping on one thing, price. Like, why are you better than Christine? Because she's offering everything you're offering, but she's 2% opposed to your 3%. Or why are you offering something better than this brokerage? I can make 10% more, or they're only gonna charge me $1,000 per transaction, or they're gonna pay me to come over. It's value, it's how do we sell value? And there will be some people, I think, who will still buy based upon price. However, I think there are still a lot of people who will buy based upon value. You, not only from a broker recruiting standpoint, but even going to real estate. We're like, oh my gosh, open door is gonna, you know, still. There are people, like, if I have a house in Arizona and I don't wanna deal with the hassle of selling it, I might use an open door. Absolutely. I don't mind paying it, I can get rid of it fast. If I have a $3 million property, I need a little help. I wanna make sure it's staged. I want, so I think there's different uh, models and flavors for different types of people, whether it's a consumer based with a realtor or that's a broker based with a, with, with, with a realtor. I think they're concerned with um, uh, not having the resources and tools like the bigger companies to provide for their realtors, which is the value, which they think that's the value. It's the icing, or it's the mints on the pillow. It's like people don't go to the Four Seasons for the mints, they go because of the, the, the service and they walk in and how you doing, Mr. and Mrs. And the level of excellence and service, not the mints, and the technology has become the mints on the pillow. No, no one's moving because of technology, which people will argue when they hear that. It's how do they sell it? I can probably sell great with technology and I can sell just as great without technology. It's the value that I bring to the table and people are gonna buy into the vision um, and what I, I as the broker, if I was, am creating for, for my, my user, which in their point is the real tour. So I think that's a concern. Um, I think there's concern about the market. It's hot right now, is it a bubble? I think they think about that quite a bit. Um, I think they think about how, you know, what does the future of real tours look like with, with all this shakeup. Um, but I just think they're, they're concerned in their sphere, you know? I think competing, I mean, that's why I have a lot of respect for brokers. I mean, it's competitive. I mean, I, it was cutthroat when I was a real tour. It's, it's, it's cutthroat now, but I mean, I thrive in that type of environment and, and a lot of people don't have the stomach for it, you know? That's my environment.